Farmers Union has produced lots of free resources for schools to use that show children where their food comes from and talks about sustainability and how that can be taught across the curriculum. So the resources can be used in a STEM week or Enterprise week. Um, they can also be used at the teacher's discretion over a term or half term. Um, they can be used as afternoon lessons or can be put into your everyday maths and English lessons. Since launching in January 2019, the NFU education team have travelled all over the UK demonstrating the relevance of food and farming to primary school children. with heat and how solids turn to liquid and how um, liquids can turn to solid. We made a digestive system and we mashed together crackers and banana and orange juice and water and then we pulled it down and tight and it came out the other end as poop. <laughs> Like measuring cream, and then I put it in a little tub and then sh shook it. We've been doing some cooking, it was really fun. We made some tarts. They had cheese and sweet corn. It was so good. We're colouring our file and then we're leaving on it and we're trying to make like a movie on how the like the bees collect the pollen. this afternoon doing the STEM to Prize training at the a fantastic time and they're all looking forward to getting back into schools and getting started on using their resources for all their children. In our community we have a range of pupils, some from the farming community and others from in the city of Chester. So these STEM to Prize resources have just been wonderful for us. So I think it's really important for children, they've become detached from the process of producing food and growing food and where food comes from and so that they genuinely don't have any idea, it's just something that's bought in a packet in the supermarket and it's really important for children to know where it comes from. We're going to continue to, to explore what the National Farming Union have got to offer and uh, to see how we can implement that across the age ranges and across the curriculum.